it means. And here we are here. We are, ladies and gentlemen, the last day of 2018. What a year, what a year we have had. But before we start the new year, it's time to get down on paper and yes, film for all of you, my 2019 running goals, which frankly begins stretching on my living room floor. Loosen it up, loosen it up. Okay, quick shout out to all the new subscribers. Every single, if you if you subscribed in the last week and you think of it, say hello down in the comments. I'd love to say hello back. And uh, it's just amazing. I'm blown away by all the new people that are joining every single day. Well, just so you know, I've been on a two week break from running, taking two weeks completely off uh, just to let the body recover from a big year in 2018, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. And that means folks on January, January 1st, I get to start running again. I can't, I cannot wait. And it means I get to start filming my runs again for you. So we survived the two week break here on YouTube. I'm not, I wasn't sure how it would quite go down as far as uh, just the overall viability of the video quality. Uh, uh, how does that sound? How does that sound? So we made it and uh, all right, Whew. see you in the shed. Running goals, running goals, running goals. I don't know about you all, but I love the new year. I love the new year. It's a fresh start, and I know it's just like connected to the calendar and how the calendar was set up centuries ago, but it's just like it's a fresh start to our lives. And I realize New Year's resolutions very rarely stick with people. Like it's, you know, they often fall by the wayside, but I must say, I set five goals in 2018. Upper right hand corner, we talked about that last week. And by the way, thank you everyone that chimed into that vlog and shared about your running goals for 2018. Well, now we get to look to the future. But I don't know, I just get, mm, I get pumped up for the new year. So before we dive into the new year, I don't know if you all, uh, listen, I don't, I'm not saying, I, I know I bring this up a lot. I'm not saying you have to be on Strava, but I appreciate many of the tools that are built into the Strava app. And in case you don't know what it is, it's an app on your phone that allows you to track your running. And that's like the basic uh, premise behind Strava. And you can connect with other runners, literally around the world and other running groups. And so every year Strava, it, it, it's genius marketing, but they produce a little mini one minute and 50 second video recapping your year in running. So if we haven't connected in Strava, you know the drill down below, let's do it. But let's roll the tape on the Strava rewind, rewind of 2018. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We will take it. I, so I don't often set running goals like for mileage in an annual year. It gets really, like I, I mark it out and you know how, I, how we talked about yesterday, I have a range of mileage that I like to shoot for, but 
you know, injuries pop up, plantar fasciitis in 2018. So it's all about having goals, but also being realistic and not being afraid to be flexible. I don't often set uh, mileage goals, but that was pretty neat. 2,600 miles, not too bad. We'll take it for a calendar year. What I'm really excited about more so is living in Colorado. We have the Rocky Mountains here, so that's a bonus. I, I love, if you've been watching a while, you know I love the uphill mountain running. It's kind of my niche and I, I enjoy it and I'm kind of good at it. So this year, 2018, 325,000 vertical feet. Not too shabby. Like, that's that's a lot. Like, it's it's quite a bit. I think it's 125,000 vertical feet more than 2017. So, my goal though, one of, so I set five goals, running goals in 2018. I only met one of the goals. I, I missed four of the goals. I only met one of them. The one that I, I met was winning a race. One of them that I missed in 2018 was reaching 400,000 vertical feet of climbing in my running. So, <laughs> it's, it is what it is. I can't go back and rewrite the books now. This is the last day of 2018 and it's time to look to the future. Every year I set running goals and the reason I do that is to hold myself accountable and to be able to physically go back. Yes, the book inside, remember that paper book that I showed you yesterday with my mileage? Basically, I will write out my goals and therefore I will be able to go back and not look at it every day, sometimes not even every week, but just maybe two, three, maybe four times a month and just review the goals for 2019. So after I share them with you tonight, I'm going to go inside, write them out. And this year, so last year I had five goals. This year I decided on six goals, not, not for no you know special reason other than there's a couple extra, there's one extra goal this year that I want to hit. And for you, uh, it's all about that discernment and figuring out like, Oh man, I want one goal in 2019. I want 10 goals in 2019, depending on what your personality is like and just who you are and how you respond to challenges and goals. All right, let's dive in. I've got them written out here. Goal number one, plyometrics. Plyometrics, what are plyometrics? Basically, it's to improve your running form. So I was getting very tired at the end of some of my 50K races in 2018, and I believe that if I would have been a little stronger and a little more um, resolute in my running form, I would have been able to maintain my speed just a little bit further in those 50K races. And in, I am beyond excited to make one, two, maybe even three videos all about my plyometrics routine for you guys. That'll probably be in the first two to three weeks of January. So stay tuned for that. Plyometrics, working on running form. Oh, beyond excited for that. Okay, goal number two. Woo! Since I did not get it, and this is a carryover from 2018. 400,000 vertical feet. I want to hit it. I want to get it. It's just, I'm, I was 75,000 feet short in 2018, so I'm going to carry it over. I think it's realistic. I know what it takes now, and I was, I was, you know, that's a lot of, I missed it by quite a bit, but I, I think it's within shot for 2019 running goals, 400,000 vertical feet of climbing, which also means 400,000 vertical feet of descent. And again, in the summer, I live in the mountains. Well, I don't live in the mountains, but I run in the mountains a lot. And goal number three is directly connected to number two. It really, they feed off of each other. Goal number three, I want to set, I want to set two more FKTs on 14ers in Colorado. What is for, what is a 14er? In Colorado, we have 54 mountains that rise above 14,000 feet of elevation. So we call them 14ers. And basically, uh, I, ha I set two FKTs. And what is an FKT? That's an acronym for fastest known time. Fastest known time. So basically, through Strava, I can see the fastest times from the trailhead to the top of the mountain and back down for all the people who have uh, basically ran up the mountain as fast as possible and back down. And I was able to snag two this, this past summer, Mount Bierstadt and Gray's Peak. And so next year, 2019, I'm thinking Mount Albert and maybe Long's Peak as like the two mountains to go after. So that is goal number three for 2019. That'll happen in the summer. And goal number four, start the running group in Denver, 
So if you live in Denver, start a running group and on Strava, which by the way, I'm trying to think of a good name. If you have any ideas, comment below. So I want to start a running group uh, here in Denver where we, we can meet up. I don't know how often yet, but where we meet up and we go running. Um, but in addition, I want to connect with all of you around the world uh, through Strava. So stay tuned for the running group. That is goal number four for 2019. Goal number five. Goal number five. I want to, this is a, a carryover again from 2018, win another race. I like, I, I like it. That, that's, that was a good incentive for me to train hard in 2018. So that's going to be another one. I was able to pull it off once in 2018 and I want to try it again in 2019. We'll see. We'll see. You got to stay humble, right? Got to stay hungry. It's not just about winning, but it helps me stay hungry. Fair enough, fair enough, all right. And goal number six, goal number six, which we're definitely gonna talk about at the live stream Tuesday, January 1st, 6 p.m. Mountain Time here on YouTube. I wanna race a road marathon at sea level. My first ever, that is goal number six. You knew that was coming. So that is my last goal for 2019 and where it's gonna happen, when it is gonna happen, I don't know yet ex for sure, for sure. I have some ideas and feelers out there that I'm just waiting to hear back on. Those are my running goals for 2019. And what's beautiful is that now I have record of saying this to you. I can go back maybe once a quarter, uh, you know, at the end of my first training block and just check in rewatch this video and just see how I'm doing on moving toward those goals and you can help keep me accountable because you're listening to them right now and of course yes the keyword is goals and that question of the day what are your running goals for 2019 and now listen I want to make a direct invitation to all of you out there who maybe have never commented and that's okay but I would just encourage you to think about this question because it's so exciting because in a year from now, 365 days, we can go back, watch this video, and more importantly, go down, read the comments, and see, oh yeah, met that goal. Ooh, uh, oh boy, definitely did not meet that goal. And see, like, wait a minute, okay, how am I gonna get ready for 2020 and change things up a little bit. I know that's thinking way down the road, but, and with goals, like it could be connected to PRs, to eating, to uh, your racing calendar, to uh, your training schedule, to your overall mental health, to uh, your work-life fitness balance, to, um, you know, your, your, connecting with other runners. Like there's so many different avenues, your running shoes. There's so many different avenues, avenues you could take for sharing your running goals for 2019. And if you need a couple days to think about this, perfect. Like take a day or two, think about your running goals for 2019 and then comment down below in a couple days just so we can have record of it. And yes, I will help, you know, do my best to keep you accountable to your goals. You know, that's why I'm here sharing videos on YouTube is to hopefully inspire you to strive. Strive for the heights, baby. Strive for the heights, whatever that might look like in your life. And I wish I could, of course, shake your hand through this camera, but I can't. So the best we can do is communicate down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. And love you guys. Thanks for hitting that keyword. Thanks for being here and for being you on YouTube. Fair enough. All right. Woo! January 1st coming right up. Oh, baby. Seek beauty. Work hard. Oh, you got me amped. Mm. And love each other. Mm. See you tomorrow.